You've got some excitement out on your lawn excited. today. Hello, Mr. President. What brings you here? Are we on already? We're on. We're live. Oh, wow. wow. That's good. We we're actually, we're on every channel. We had a very exciting trip over here, I have to say. No kidding. That was good. That was good. How are you? I'm doing okay. I was here for the baseball game. How about uh, Steve Scalise last night? I think he's great. How about the play? The first play of the game. Unbelievable. He's a great guy. You courageous. Not... Courageous. Right. You like you. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Sure. Having you stop by live, uh, I got some questions for I you. I was mugged by the media. They've got questions for you. I'm hoping I can ask a lot of the questions they've well, got they're for Well, they're very, you. very nice people. Uh, you know, the IG report came out yesterday. The FBI looks bad. Very bad. Your FBI. Well, no, it's, it was Comey. I mean, they were talking about Comey, not my FBI. It was Comey. The people in the FBI are incredible. I would bet if you took a poll in the FBI, I would win that poll by more than anybody's ever won a poll. But the top people were horrible. You look at what happened. They were plotting against my election. Probably has never happened like that in terms of uh, intelligence, in terms of anything else. Right. But they were actually plotting against my election. The headline right so, now is... But I'm actually proud because... I beat Clinton dynasty, right. I beat Bush dynasty, and now, I guess, hopefully I'm in the process of beating very dishonest intelligence because what they did was incredible and a real insult to millions of people that voted in that election on both sides. The headline right now from the uh, Wall Street Journal, DOJ Clinton report blasts Comey and agents but finds no bias in conclusion. Well, the end result was wrong. I mean, there was total bias. I mean, when you look at Peter Strzok and what he said about me, when you look at Comey, all his moves. So I guess, you know, it's interesting. It was a pretty good report. And then I say that the IG blew it at the very end with that statement, because when you read the report, it was almost like Comey. He goes point after point about how guilty Hillary is. Mm -hmm. And then he said, but we're not going to do anything about it. Uh, the report, the IG report, was a horror show. I thought that one sentence of conclusion was ridiculous. What about uh, apparently the lovebirds uh, talking about you? We will stop it. Yeah, they said they will stop me. Well, in the meantime, the economy hit an all-time high this morning. Uh, never been better. Jobless rate, the lowest, the best in 44 years just came out. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have some incredible things. We're just announcing uh, very big tariffs today on China because China has been, you know, look, he's my friend, President Xi. He's a great man. He's a wonderful guy. but. Uh, at some point, we have to straighten it out. We lost $500 billion in trade deficits last year. We can't do that. Is the new tariff something like 25% on 50 billion? Well, it's being billion? announced right now, as okay. I speak. You can announce it. So maybe you have the uh, first announcement. You what, made, you what do you know you about your tariff? You have beaten the Wall Street Journal, all right? You just beat the Wall Street Journal by a lot. Well, we're just going to do $50 billion on $50 billion of high technology equipment and other things coming into the country because so much of our secrets, you know, we have the great brain power in Silicon Valley mm -hmm. and China and others steal those secrets and we're going to protect those secrets. Those are crown jewels for this country. Right. And, you know, you, you read so much about China, you read so much about other countries. We have the great brain power right in this country, I'm proud to say. And you're certainly a member of that group. <laughs> I am an American. What, what about uh, the fact that uh, there are a lot of people who say, what's he doing? He's going to start a trade war. If, if, if he slaps 25 percent on 50 billion for China, that's going to be bad for Americans. No, the trade war was started many years ago by them and the United States lost. So okay. you're saying we're on the There's losing no trade end war. of it. Well, no, there is no trade war. They've taken so much. So last year, $375 billion in trade deficit. We had a 300 with China. We had overall over $800 billion over a period of years. Each year, close to $800 billion in losses on mm -hmm. trade. It's not going to happen anymore. Right. It's not going to happen. Can't happen. A week ago, you were up in um, up in Canada, and you met I with was. the G7 people. I that was. you know that didn't end so well. No, it ended well for the United States. It ended well. Well, the world community thinks the United States is turning our back on them. No, but no, your no. opinion is that it's you got elected to represent America, and America needs help. We need protection. Everybody's taking advantage of us. The European Union made $151 billion on us last year. The uh, If you look at, I told you about China, you look at Japan, you look at South Korea, you look at so many. And we help these countries militarily on top of everything else. I mean, you know, at what point does it stop? And when I left China, it was absolutely a fantastic meeting. We left, we hugged, we kissed, everybody was leaving. And then I get onto Air Force One, and the prime minister up there, Trudeau, didn't think, I guess, 
that we have any televisions on Air Force One, but they have, I think, 21 televisions or some ridiculous number. And, and so I you saw in. it and you hit no, the roof. Well, you have to understand, we're hugging, we're saying goodbye, everybody's happy. I made changes to right. the agreement because I wanted it to be much better for the United States. I made changes, we we're all happy. And then he got up and started saying that he doesn't want to be pushed around by the United yeah. States. Well, they charge us almost 300% on dairy products. Right. So we can't do that. Have stuff. you heard from any of the yeah, G7 I, leaders? They all called me to wish me happy birthday yesterday. Really? And how was that? It was very... Not your birthday, but the message from the other side. Uh, I, I took it very well. Right. No, they all called. I mean, I have great friendships. The new prime minister of Italy is great. Mm -hmm. Got to meet him. Very, very strong on immigration, right. like I am, by the way. Uh, it seems that strong on immigration wins now. Sure. But and, this you know, is the Democrats, by the way, are very weak on immigration. Now, if you notice, when I came over, they were all saying about separating the families. And that's a Democrat bill. That's Democrats wanting to do that. And they could solve it very easily by getting together. But they think it's a good election point. I think it's a horrible election point but for them. Ultimately, Congress has got to change the they laws. Change the law. But at the well, same time, Mr. President, people say, look, you, you rip these families apart, even though it is the law, it's heartless. But that's the law. And that's what the Democrats gave us. And we're willing to change it today if they want to get in and negotiate. But they just don't want to negotiate. They're afraid of they're afraid of security for our country. They're afraid of a wall. Mm -hmm. Although I must tell you, most people now, really, they want the wall. They want to stop the drugs. They want to stop mm -hmm. a lot of people from coming in that shouldn't be here, like MS-13. Right. A lot of, uh, I was up on Capitol Hill yesterday with Steve Scalise. They were having a leadership meeting. It sounds like they're going to take a vote on a couple of different bills on immigration probably next week. Yeah. Uh, one of them, the Good Life Bill, the other is something more moderate. Would you sign either one of them? I'm looking at both of them. I certainly wouldn't sign the more moderate What does the one. bill have to I have? Need, I need a bill that gives this country tremendous border security. I have to have that. We have to get rid of catch and release. Does that mean the wall? We have to have the wall. If we don't have the wall, there's no bill. Uh, we have to have catch and release. We catch right. a criminal, a real criminal, a rough, tough criminal. We take his name and then we release him. Right. And we say, please show up to court in a couple of months. You know what the chances of getting him to court are? Like zero, okay? Right. It's crazy. Then we have uh, the lottery program, right? It's called Lot of Visery. Uh, Diversity it, lottery program. Yeah, or lottery visa. Okay, one of those. Okay, whatever. They, they have 15 names. It's still ha Every one of them has lottery. You know what lottery yep. is? That's where you pick names to come into the country. Well, when a country gives names, they're not giving us their finest. So we're picking people. It's not good. We have to end that. We have to end a couple of them, and we are going to be so secure as a country. Now, with all of that being said, we're doing a great job. ICE, we're getting mm -hmm. MS-13 out by the thousands. But we shouldn't have to be going into towns in Long Island right. and other places and getting them out. You know, it's almost like we're liberating towns. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. You mentioned court um, regarding a legal proceeding. You got Robert the, Mo the Mueller investigation. I know right, we kind of touched right. on that a little while ago. Uh, Rudy Giuliani uh, is out this morning. He said the investigation should go away. Time to fold up the tent, uh, or it's time to investigate the investigators. Are you on the same page? Look, you have uh, 13 angry lawyer? Democrats. There are 13, I call them 13 angry Democrats, and others worked for Obama for eight years. I mean, you have no Republicans. You have no. Uh, it's a very unfair situation, but. The IG report totally exonerates. I mean, if you look at the results and if you look at the, the head investigator is saying we have to stop Trump from becoming president. Well, Trump became president. We have the best economy today we've ever had. Right. We have much greater border security than we ever would have had. Right. And when we do it, when we have the laws changed, it'll be like perfecto. Rudy says that you should not talk to Mueller. A lot of people say that. Look. Given the, the IG the, report and I stuff mean, that's they're getting, coming out. They're getting people who say something a little bit off. Is it a nice day? Well, you know, no, it's not a great day. Oops, right. he lied. He goes, you know, got problems. What, what, what people, are the, people are afraid of that. And uh, I would like to talk, but it seems to be very biased. Mm -hmm. One of uh, some of the texts, and we're not going to quote them, were very... Vicious. Vicious regarding people who support you. Yeah, vicious. I have the greatest supporters in the world. By the way, they're the smartest, they're the hardest working, they pay taxes, they're incredible, they're loyal. I have the bikers, I have the, the uh, construction workers, I have them all. I have the, by the way, I have the FBI. You go into the FBI and take a poll of the right. real FBI, not the scum on top, not Comey and that group of people that well, are total thieves. Most of those are gone. Well, I don't know how Peter Strzok is still working there, to be honest in, with you. He's okay? working in HR. It this, doesn't, this that's is even your, worse. Mr. 
President, this is I your know, FBI. You know what I've done, and you know this, I've told you this. I'm so involved, great new Secretary of State. Right. Just, uh, I have a fantastic relationship now with North Korea. You know, we, there were missiles mm -hmm. being thought about. Yeah. People aren't thinking about it anymore. I said on the Department of Justice, I would stay uninvolved. Now, I may get involved at right. some point if it gets worse. I say, I'm staying uninvolved. I'm letting this report go through. I did nothing wrong. There was no collusion. There yep. was no obstruction. But, Mr. There was President, no one I was on Capitol Hill yesterday, and there are a number of uh, congressional Republicans who are, you know, they're trying to get some documents from your Department of Justice, your FBI. I tried to stay involved. I may not stay involved, you know, uninvolved, because they have to get the documents. Look, I think everybody But your agrees. FBI is stonewalling. I think that Rod, Rod Rosenstein. Rosenstein thinks that you have to get the documents. I really believe that. I saw him yesterday. Mm -hmm. gave me a briefing. I think that he believes you have to get the documents. What did he say regarding the IG report? Well, he wasn't thrilled about it. I mean, you know, you can't be if you're in there now. But it really was talking about the past. It's not talking about right. us. It's talking about before us. And it's talking about the election. Mm -hmm. What they did during the election was a disgrace. It's probably never happened in our country before. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. What's going to happen when we go further? Mm -hmm. And there was total bias. I mean, total bias. From what you've seen so far, should James Comey be locked up? Well, look, I would never want to get involved in that. Uh, certainly, he uh, they just seem like very criminal acts to me. What he did was criminal. What he did was a terrible thing to the people. What he did was so bad in terms of our Constitution, in terms of the, the well-being of our country. What he did was horrible. Should he be locked up? Let somebody make a determination. Look at all the dishonest things that crooked Hillary did. Look at look at what, mm -hmm. what's gone on. It's it very sad. Sounds like he was using a private email, too. He had a private email. I, that was, of all the things, that wasn't to me, maybe the most interesting, but it was probably the funniest. Because He's using, she got in big trouble for her private yeah, email. Yeah. Oh, James Comey's using one. That too. was a little bit of a surprise, I have to say. Yeah. Um, the, from what we've seen, though, uh, regarding the uh, IG report, it, it sounds like Comey made some bad judgments, but nothing criminal. Well, if you look at what happened, and don't forget, all of these people like Strzok, what he did was criminal. Mm. Strzok and so many others. McCabe is you now You mean up. the bias, the animus? Well, they all worked for Comey, and Comey knew everything that was going on. You think McCabe didn't tell him everything? McCabe told him everything, and McCabe is up for criminal right now. And now he's and suing most the Department of Justice. And he's now suing, and it's a total mess. They're all going against each other. No, I, th I think Comey was the ringleader of this whole you know, den of thieves. Mm -hmm. It was a den of thieves. Are you confident that either through the congressional investigators or the IG report or new management at the, at the FBI, things are going to work I out, think things so. are cleaning I think up, so. and we'll get to the bottom of all I, that stuff? I do stuff. believe so. I think it's happening. It's happening slowly, but it's happening. I think Christopher Ray is a, a very different from Comey, which is what you need. You need different. You need like the opposite. And he's moving step by step. And you're going to see a whole new, very proud mm -hmm. FBI. I think that uh, the Justice Department will end up being great. It's all going to happen. It's yeah. all going to work out. But I tried to stay as much uninvolved as right. I can. You were very involved in going to Singapore, negotiating with right. uh, Kim Jong-un. When you finally met him and sat across the table from him, you know, we've heard a lot of bad things about yeah. little rocket man, yeah. and suddenly you guys seem to be best friends. We What's got along on? very well. We had a good chemistry. I don't know if that's supposed to be popular or politically correct to say, but we really did. We had good chemistry. You haven't had any rocket shot up in the air for seven months. You right. haven't had any research. They just blew up their test site. They're blowing up their engine test site for ballistic missiles. Uh, he's giving us back our great heroes who right. died, as you know. We're getting remains. the remains back. And uh, I had, I've had so many people, so many parents, so many fathers and daughters and sons asking me, please, please. Right. This is during the campaign and after. Right. I, it, say, I say, I don't have exactly a good relationship. Anyway, during the meeting, and we really did hit it off, during the, you know, good chemistry. You, you have since used some very friendly words regarding yeah, him, and you've I taken mean, some heat for that. that's what it is. I take heat, but uh, what am I supposed to do, walk out and say, terrible? I mean, I, I got along with him very well. We have good chemistry. I asked him, the remains, I'd like mm -hmm. to get them. Right. He said, yes, we will do that. They are already starting to produce the remains of these mm -hmm. great 
young soldiers who were left right. in North Korea. We're getting the remains, the, and nobody thought that was possible. The way you have described things, it sounds like you feel that he's on the road to denuclearize. Oh, absolutely. So it's what? in the agreement. It says he will denuclearize. Right. I you know, know it's funny when that's you see. Broad. When it's funny when you see the fake news because, and you guys aren't fake, but I signed an agreement where we get everything, everything. But they say Trump lost because he agreed to meet. Trump agreed got the to picture. meet. No, it's a funny thing. You got to watch your CNN. I mean, what what a fraud it is. Go, they go. They're listening. Trump They're listen right behind you. That's, right that's fine. Trump, do you hear me? Trump agreed to meet. I say, I agreed to meet. Of course, you got to agree right. to meet. If you don't agree to meet, you know what you're going to have? You're going to have nuclear war. That's what you're going to mm -hmm. have. I have a great relationship. Uh, he gave us back our hostages. I didn't pay 1.8 billion. Right. Paid nothing. But it was very smart that he did it. He gave us back our hostages. He's giving us back the remains of probably 7,500 really? soldiers. Yeah, there's a tremendous number of soldiers, a tremendous number of uh, MIAs and, you know, just folks that never, mm. they've never been found. It, it sounds and they, like... And they, by the way, they know where many of these bodies are. What, what is the stage of the uh, meetings now? I know, you know, you've said Mike Pompeo. Mike Pompeo is just leaving there. He was in South Korea. Any developments uh, We're getting that? along great with South Korea. We're getting along great with China, probably until this morning, because we just did a big tariff on China. But that's okay, because I have a wonderful relationship with President Xi. We'll all work it out. He understands it's unfair. Right. They can't believe they got away with it for so long, Steve. Right. Okay, They can't believe it. I mean, they got away with it for 25 years. I'm not just blaming Obama. I'm blaming many presidents sure. and leaders. At what point? It should did, have never happened. At what point did the sanctions come off of North Korea? Uh, when we can be sure there will be no more nuclear. How close are we to that? Very close. We're very close to getting it started. He wants to do it. He wants to do something great with his country. He wants to make his country great. So you are saying that uh, you'll relieve the sanctions once whatever he's going to do we know, he's completely yeah. that stuff doesn't work anymore. Once we know that it can't happen. Right. And I'm telling you right now with the relationship I have it's not going to happen. Hey, you haven't had a rocket test right. in 7 months. I was with Prime Minister Abe, another good friend of mine from Japan. I said, when's the last time you had a rocket flying over Japan? He said, it has not happened. I said, it right. won't happen. Don't worry about it. Are we close to seeing uh, Mr. Kim here at the White House? Uh, could happen. I mean, they talked yeah, about that yesterday. I would, with I would the have him. Yeah, I think it's something that could happen. Yeah. Hey, he's the head of a country, and I mean, he is the strong head. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone think anything different. Right. He speaks, and his people sit up at attention. I want my people to do the right. same. Well, just before uh, you met with him, he uh, cleaned house. Three of his top generals, some of the hardliners, yeah, he fired. Then you go over there, and you got uh, you took some heat over saluting one of the generals. I think he fired at least. Okay, when you say he three fired, three that we know of. I think maybe fired at least. <laughs> fired right. may be a nice word. Uh, that's right. I met a general. He saluted me. I saluted him back. And I guess they're using that as another sound bite. I mean, you know, I think I'm being respectful to the general. Uh, we are. We have a very good relationship right. with North Korea. Uh, when I was talking to President Obama. He essentially was ready to go to war with North Korea. He felt you had to almost go to war. And I did ask him, have you spoken to him? He goes, no. Mm -hmm. I said, do you think it would be a good thing to speak to him, maybe? Right. Okay? Because, you know, if you go to war there, you're not talking about 100,000 lives, which is a lot. Right. You're talking about 30, 40, 50 million lives. Sure. Seoul is 30 miles off the border. They don't even need nuclear weapons mm -hmm. to take out Seoul. And right. they have thousands of cannons. They call them cannons. They have the big guns. Thousands pointed right at Seoul. We have a really great relationship mm -hmm. for the first time ever. No president's ever had this. So I get hit by these fakes back here. Not all of them, some are phenomenal, but I get hit because I went there. I gave him credibility. Right. I think it's great to give him credibility. Here's what we got, everything. Mm -hmm. Point after point after point. Uh, one point, uh, I think it was in the last week, 10 days. Things are going fast here in Washington, just saying. But uh, regardless, You're having a lot of fun, right? We're, we're having so a, supposing Hillary got making, elected instead of Trump, do you think it would be so exciting? Listen, Your ratings made, would be way down. Number I, one show in the morning, folks. Well, thank you. I, I've heard you say the others in cable news. That's right. Um, I, it was within the last Actually, week. Actually, also beyond cable news, you're doing pretty well. We're doing okay. That's okay. Thanks for dropping by. I like, I like ratings. All the other I study ratings. Yeah. Broadcasting. Um, you had mentioned the NFL players and uh, the, you know, 
some taking uh, a knee, and you would like to hear some of the stories uh, of people who you should pardon. And you mentioned uh, professional athletes. Have you heard from any of them? No, I haven't heard. You know, they're all saying, oh, it has nothing to do with the flag. It's the way we've been treated. In the meantime, they're making $15 million a year. Look. I'm all for the athletes. I think it's great. I love athletics. I love sports. But they shouldn't get the politics involved. When you're in a stadium and they broadcast that national, you got to stand and you got to be proud and you got to have your hand up and you got to do everything that's right. And then go out and play really tough football. And once you leave that stadium, go and do whatever you want to do. Run for office. Mm -hmm. Do whatever. But I did say, uh, you know, I have this tremendous power of pardon. Mm -hmm. And Kim Kardashian came in and, and the woman, 22 years in jail. People can't believe that you would be listening to Kim Kardashian. Oh, I did. I don't know her. And I met her. And uh, she was really nice, I have to say, and very capable. But she came in and uh, she said, this is a very unfair situation. I looked at it. I agree. 20, she's in there for 22 years. She's got another 20 years to serve. Mm -hmm. And you have drug dealers that are doing big stuff and they get a two-month sentence okay it was just unfair and I thought it was a beautiful scene when that woman left prison and ran over to yeah. it looked like her grandkids it was a couple of big she strong guys you. big strong guys some wonderful women they're all hugging kissing everyone's right. crying I, to me that was a beautiful scene right. well she thanked me but you know thank Kim because I wouldn't have known about yeah. it and I told the NFL players I mean indirectly I said you have somebody that's aggrieved because they're saying people mm -hmm. are aggrieved. okay let me know about it I'll look at it if they're aggrieved I will pardon them I'll get them out I'm shocked you haven't heard from I, I don't think oh, I've heard from one. one now maybe they've called the staff but I have not personally heard yeah. from one speaking of the staff because I don't know if it's a real issue uh, I don't think it's a real issue Sarah Huckabee Sanders your press secretary yeah. she's uh, she took a lot of heat yesterday from the people behind you like she did I didn't know that. Well, she did. There was some suggestion that uh, maybe she'd be leaving the White House. I don't think so. You know, and look, at, at a certain point, everyone sort of leaves. You have to leave. I'm sort of just staying. I'm like a ship. Just keep going, being, being. But uh, Sarah loves this job. And she's announced, not with me. I read that same report. Somebody right. put it out. I think it was CBS when she said it's a false report. But it's fake news. But at some point, I'm sure she'll leave, like everybody leaves, and right. we'll get somebody else. But Sarah's done a fantastic job. No, I don't think she's leaving. What do you make of the... In fact, she was very insulted that they came out and said that, right. so I don't think she's leaving. What do you make of the back and forth between her and the press? Because sometimes it gets uh, Well, I, I think the press. Loud. I think the press treats Sarah very unfairly. That White House correspondence... But I think dinner. some of them feel she's not answering their questions, well, so okay. they're going to ask it again and ask Well, I gave her. a press conference in uh, Singapore that was like an hour and a half and uh, that was like the biggest press group I've ever seen and I answered every single question I'd answer anybody's question I guess that's not supposed to be my job I'm here with you today you're giving me a lot of well thank you very much a lot of interesting questions but but Steve, uh, I think Sarah is really a good person and a nice person very capable She's got a lot of the father's genes because mm -hmm. that father is great. Mike Huckabee. Don't forget, he got up there in that debate stage and he said, nobody's going to beat Trump. And I even decided to wear, he was running, and okay. I even decided to wear a Trump tie. And I said, I love that guy. I loved him, okay? Yeah. But Mike is a very talented guy and Sarah is a very talented person, but they treat her very badly. Mm -hmm. What they did to Sarah at the White House correspondence, now the only difference I would have done, I would have walked out. I thought she should have walked out instead of sitting there. But she you know, took the high road. She took a very high road. Sometimes yeah. you don't take such a high road. We had uh, Stuart Varney on our air. By the way, he is great. <laughs> I love Stuart. That little part, he's no, going to be running every day now. And he's right. He, well, he, he knows what he's talking well, about. Well, he suggested that the uh, the next quarter GDP could be 4%. Well, they're predicting, you know, the Atlanta Fed predicted 4.8%. I think, you know, it's a lot. Don't forget, when I got elected, I took this thing over. It was 1.2. And each point is $3 trillion and 10 million jobs. You know, a point, people mm -hmm. will sit home, oh, it's a point. What difference does it make? Well, it was 1.2. And it was going down. You probably saw this morning I put out. They would have raised your taxes instead of cut your taxes, and they were going to put on more regulations. The last thing we need is regulations. I actually think my regulation cutting had more of an impact on the economy than the tax cuts. When you were running, you said, for every regulation we uh, enact, I will cut two. Right. But you didn't cut two. That's you're, right. You're cutting a much bigger number. 22, it turned out. 22. And... Uh, and by the way, you need regulation. I want the cleanest water in the world. I want the cleanest air in the world. I want that air to be so perfect. And our air now is better than it was two years ago mm -hmm. with all of the talk and all of the nonsense.
clean, crystal clean water, clean air, but I also want our companies to be competitive so they can go around the world and compete. And we were shutting down companies over the environment, and they weren't doing anything wrong. And that's jobs. Great, but there are some who say, look, uh, the EPA is relaxing a lot of rules that are out there to protect people. Only rules that don't mean anything or rules that are duplicative. You know, rules There's where you have, those. well, not only that. I mean, some of them you have nine different times you have to get the same thing approved by different agencies. Right. To build a highway in this country takes 19 years of approvals. I have it down to two years. And you'll get rejected if it's wrong, if it's mm -hmm. environmentally bad. Right. But I have it down to two years. I want to get it down to one year. And that's indicative of everything else, too. Uh, a company comes in from China, from Japan. They want to spend a tremendous amount of money on building a plant or something, mm -hmm. right? It takes them seven years to get a permit. And they don't do it because it's too long. Right. I have it down to one year and even faster. Right. now. If they're wrong, we know immediately. You know, you don't have to sure. wait seven years. How about going through the process seven years and getting rejected? How about a highway that spends 19 years getting approved and then in the last vote, they get a three to two vote no. That happens oftentimes, and they spend hundreds of right. millions of dollars on the approval. Not going to happen anymore. Uh, I saw a headline on Drudge, uh, I think this morning, unemployment at a 44-year low. Yeah, yeah. Drudge is great, by the way. Matt Drudge is a great gentleman. Uh, who, who really, I don't know, he's got an ability to capture the stories that people want to see, but that was the number one story on Drudge. 44-year low mm -hmm. unemployment, and, and I saw that in very big letters, actually, right. and I said, that makes me very proud. Another uh, story out there was uh, this past week is, uh, while you did meet with Kim Jong-un, uh, it sounds like uh, you and Mr. Putin may be sitting down sometime soon. What, what can you tell us about we that? We may, and, and it started because a reporter shouted to me, should Putin be in the G7? I said, no, he should be in the G8. It used to be the G8 a few years ago. And I think President Obama didn't like him, uh, even though they gave advance notice about the election to Obama. People right. forget about that. You know, Obama was told by the CIA or somebody, FBI, about Russia. He didn't do anything about it. How come he never gets blamed? Yeah. In September, just before the election, my election, he should have done, because maybe I would have won by more. Right. Um, yesterday, big day, not only did the AG report come out, but uh, it was your birthday. That's right. Getting any good presents? I got a lot of good kisses. I had a lot of phone calls from people that I would never have gotten phone calls from. I got phone calls Who'd from- Who'd you get the kisses from? From a beautiful wife. Okay. Who's really doing great. She's doing great. But, uh, and my oh, kids. Speaking of your wife. Yeah. Uh, you know, we saw a story, uh, I think you, as you were heading uh, to the chopper, you said, you know, uh, she can't fly for a month. That's One month. Well, the doctor said don't fly for a month, but she'll be able to very shortly. And she's on the bed. Oh, she's in great shape. She's like perfect. She. She and somebody said, "Did she have a facelift? No. Uh, did she have this? Did she have that? I mean, the speculation. Even after the doctors gave a full, and these are White House doctors, they give, you know, they give the really straight stuff. But no, she's doing fantastically well. Uh, we had your son Don Jr. on our show, and he said he was not getting you anything for your birthday because you've got everything. Well, I just want to have a successful country. I'll be honest. I, I this is so intensive. We've done more." I don't say this in a bragging way. Actually, some of the haters actually say this. We've done more in 500 days, so now it's 510 days, than any 500-day president first term by far. Yeah. And that's what I want to do. I want to really, you know, I got elected, make America great again. Very simple. Mm -hmm. Make America great again. That's what we're doing. And we are respected around the world. You take a look at Iran. They're not talking about Iran taking over the Middle East. I took that crazy deal that Obama gave them away. Iran's not looking to the Mediterranean anymore. You know, they had to go through a lot of territory to get there. Right. They're looking to survive. But I will tell you, someday soon, they're going to come back and they're going to want to negotiate a mm -hmm. deal and we'll make a deal. But they were nasty. They were very, very nasty and they had to be mm -hmm. stopped. I took away the deal and I think they've been treating America with much more respect. And I have to say that you don't see the little boats circling our boats anymore. Do you notice that? Yeah. Remember with Obama? You'd have this beautiful destroy. You'd have this Annapolis captain on the boat, and he's sitting there. You could see he's like a boiler waiting to explode because he was given orders. And they were circling us with those boats, right? And he wanted to shoot the hell well, out of them. He wanted to. to they were harassing mm -hmm. our our guys, and and he wanted to shoot the hell out of them. Yeah. And you don't see that stuff yeah. anymore. By the way, when they captured our ten sailors and made them get on the knees. You're not going to see that anymore. I hear the bells in the distance. Uh, we're coming up on 9 o'clock in the east. How are you going to celebrate uh, Father's Day? Work. 
I'm going to work. I'm going to actually be calling North Korea. I'm going to be calling. I just have right now. I have a call from your friend from Fan France, Emmanuel. What are you going to tell him? I'm going to tell him you have to treat us better on trade. European Union's not treating us well on trade. I love trade. You know, trade's always been my thing. Even 20 years ago, when I'd be talking to you, trade was always my thing. It's probably. I'm getting a lot of credit for what we're doing foreign, but mm -hmm. I, I think my best thing is going to be a trade. We have to straighten out our trade. You know, right. we're doing well despite our bad trade deals. Right. After we do our trade deals, when okay. you see the numbers. Mr. President, I don't think uh, in the history. Did anybody ever know the, uh, the sitting president come out on the North Line? Never. It's never happened. Yeah. Secret uh, Service is thrilled <laughs> I as, I, as I stand here. On the way. Look at, look at these guys. They're, they're yeah, ready to. I feel very secure. You know what? Uh, he's this is go. definitely your son, by the way. <laughs> it's fine. Peter, I looked well, at him. Hey, I look at him. There's no question that's your son. That's very kind of you. All right, Mr. <laughs> President, thank you very much. Thanks.